Hey everyone, Matt Lanfear here with Primary and Secondary. About to start Modcast 14. This is going to be far more entertaining than anything the Oscars ever will produce. Yeah, typically by now we'd have a couple more people filing in, so I speculate it's because of the Oscars. Not really. Yeah. No. I, I don't think the Oscars right. No. My wife's watching it right now, and I'm right here. I think this is the year Leo's going to finally get his Oscar. Really? I, under, I never saw the movie. I heard it was good, but I heard he didn't have much of a speaking role, mostly grunts. No, that, that, it, that's true. Like, um, I'm actually kind of surprised that Revenant, you know, has 12 uh, nominations. But, yeah, I was watching some movie critic people, and they were like, Leo's got it in the bag this year, so we'll see. Uh, if he doesn't, it'll be a it'll be a big upset for everybody. I'm a fan. I think he does good work. Oh, yeah, I think he's an incredible actor. Uh, yeah, he's you know he's he's gotten all the precursor awards, Screen Actors Guilds, and Golden Globes, and all that shit. And I think he's been nominated four times or five times uh, for best actor. Um, he, needs to get an e he needs yeah. an he needs an egot. Yep. So. Well, why why does Fisher say that he's still alone? Uh, I think emotionally, he's referring to his emotional status. <laughs> I bet he just has us muted, or he doesn't have headphones on, or something. Fisher, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but we did wind up uh, ejecting you last night. I think you fell asleep. Oh, post post modcast. Yeah, we wound up talking about other projects we were working on, and yeah, it was clear you were asleep. So we figured we were just gonna let them. We're not gonna try to wake you up or anything. Scream into the marks mics. Meh. Though that I'm still thinking about what you said about cat crap, and I'm looking forward to posting that because that was really cool information, and that's. I had no idea how how it was properly used and to what effect or to what extent it's effective. Yeah, it's it's really good product, and I'm glad that they have a spray because you know there's just times that you need to reapply and, and you don't have time to reapply. So um, you know that ability to give it the the quick spritz and wipe off to to extend your your, your anti fog capability is pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm thinking that we probably should play some form of a wager. <laughs> Steve wants the link. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we need to get some kind of a wager on what kind of quality Steve's connection is going to be. Let's determine that before we add him. I'm thinking he's going to sound like a robot for about 10% of the time. Uh... Yeah, I'm not going to take that back. Oh. <laughs> I don't know that when he was talking about magnified optics for patrol, that was clear, and he even had video. It was a, it was like a Christmas miracle. So, did did the missing link figure out how to get back on chat? He just joined. He hasn't said anything though. I wonder if he forgot to plug in his earbuds. Jesus, one <laughs> one step above Neanderthal. I swear I'm to God. I'm thinking one step above Bill Blowers. <laughs> Speaking of which, why is he not in here? Yesterday he was all gung ho about doing this, and it sounded like he was going to do the same for today. Yeah, he did say he was good for Saturday and Sunday night, didn't he? Yeah. Maybe you threw him for a loop with the uh, the early start. Who knows? That's true. Yeah, we're hoping to we're hoping to get rolling into bed before the sun goes up tonight. And Steve Fisher just left again. Yeah, I bet it's his internet. What a retard. <laughs> That's why we can't have anything nice. That's why he can't have anything nice. Oh gosh. 
and he's back. Maybe we should place wagers on how many times this is going to take before it takes. Hey, Steve's here. Kind of. <laughs> Damn it, I, I could have won money. Yeah, Steve, we have no idea what the hell you just said. You kind of sounded like Neo as he was after he took the red or the blue pill. I don't remember which. I like the blue better. See, I understood that. Steve, Steve, I brought your buddy along this time. Fish up, puppy. Oh, missed guy. <laughs> yeah, it's been amazing. Let me change hey, Steve, this. turn the auto turn. Turn the That's auto tur toner off. Auto toner. Auto tuner. That's what I'm trying Let to say. Let me guess. Where's that button? Which button is that one? Are you wearing the Arcteryx jacket that you turned into a vest? You guys discussed no, last week. This one. No, yeah, I'm still trying to get that stone up. Uh, Where's my auto tuner, dude? Which button is that? It's. I made it up. Mm. And in the, usual, in the usual fashion, Stephen Fisher. No, you're Stephen Fisher. Stephen Andrews just commented Steve Fisher appearing by film strip on Modcast. That's pretty accurate. Really? It's what happens when you live in your mom's basement. That's right. <laughs> Drinking brown water in a woodland camouflage wife beater. Is Steve Fisher playing a banjo? Someone wants to know. That's a vest, bro. That's a vest. It ain't woodland. It's kind of Cabela's camo. Well, that, that just shows how good your internet connection is. Pardon the uh, laptop moving around the house. I have to make a very important decision here, so I'm trying to figure it out. Green spot. Green spot, you think? Yes. All right. Mm. <sighs> what are we talking about tonight? We're talking about Steve Fisher, male gigolo. Gutter slut. No, those days are over. I'm a good boy now. Okay. I'm all right and down. <sighs> I don't want to beat a dead horse, but uh, someone did post about uh, ballistic eyewear. I mentioned how we have some pretty reputable people talking about Rudy Project. Mine are due tomorrow. Nice. Um, my understanding is they're pretty much indestructible. You were talking about how how bendable they were. I'll get a pair. I'll flex them right on camera for you. I don't care. I'll turn those things inside out. Cool. Mm. Uh, last of the wood for double oaked. Mm. Dr. Pepper. Oh, that's boring. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, Walt brought over some uh, some wood for um, yesterday, day before. We got into that. Mm, I know how that went. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. So we, we we have a new routine. Um, I get the new episodes of Vikings downloaded onto my Plex server uh, the day after. So uh, Walt will leave work early and swing by the house with bourbon, and we drink bourbon and watch Vikings. Like it's it's a thing. That's a good call. Yeah, uh, I'm playing catch up on the colony right now. I've got like eight thousand episodes taped. 
<laughs> you know, on the DVR shit. I'm just like, oh my god, dude, it is so much better than uh, than uh, Man in the High Castle. Uh, I really, really did, Colin. Really? really? Okay, cool. Yeah, I was kind of trying to figure out like it was like a combination. Remember the old series V? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, like old boy, like holding a gun and shit like this. Yeah, I'm like kind of trying to figure out. It was like it's kind of like a cross between that and that other stupid movie with the robots and shit, that Area 9 or whatever the hell it was. And I'm, I'm still trying to kind of catch up because I'm only like through four episodes right now. So I'm still kind of in that beginning catch-all with it. So, yeah. But so far, so good. <sighs> whatever uh, happened to the reboot of V? I remember the old one was awesome. Yeah, and then they did the reboot and the... Lead character was that hooker from uh, Firefly. What's and wrong with that? I, I did nothing. Absolutely okay. nothing. She yeah. had short hair, uh, but yeah, she she still she was still hot. Um, I've got I've got both series, the original and uh, the mini series, the original V television series that came on after they did the mini series, and then the new reboot. I've got it all on my on my Plex server. <laughs> She's Wade Wilson's girlfriend too, so. Who's? Uh, I don't even remember the actress's name. Oh, good. You keep up with too much silly shit. Yeah, you have no idea. Hmm. What is her name? I know someone's going to post it here in just three seconds. Two, three, I don't know. Four. Red pill is not her name. Gosh. Ooh. I don't watch TV. It's like I'll watch a couple episodes of something and that's it. I don't watch anything. Yeah. Just this. I've got an 80-inch big screen wasting away that I watch once in a blue moon. Oh, my God. Ugh. Why aren't yeah. you at work, Tom? You should be at work saving people. I will be uh, at work in a couple hours. Mm. Where are you working tonight? I'm working in the morning. Cool. Out of the main. Nice. Excellent. So, Tom, how much have you listened to this fine program? I think I've caught like three or four episodes. Okay, so you know you shouldn't have any expectations of anything. Yeah, figure yeah. that out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, there is no expectations of anything other than it will go south. <laughs> but it starts so good. <laughs> and then it just, it's like a relationship. It starts so good for the first week. <laughs> I was going to bed, and now I'm sitting on my couch drinking whiskey and talking to you fools. So. I think oh. a lot of people go through that. That's happened a lot this past two weeks. What a lot that, of that's, weeks. That's how it starts. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. Goes downhill completely. Yep. Three hours later, we're still talking about weighty philosophical arguments, and you know, out, I I ain't going back to jail. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Look, I know where we hid her, you asshole. God. Yep, it goes sideways. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, that is a sweet picture. <laughs> Thanks. Lock the door. Look who they let in the house. <laughs> What's up, dog? <clears throat> Nothing wrong. Mm. Showing off a little kit love today at class. Dude's all asking what I was rolling with. I'm like, this is what I got. This is where it's from. So, Steve, I drove by, but I didn't want to interrupt. It looked pretty busy. Ah, oh, dude, it was slammed in there today. I had, I started with like twelve or fourteen today, and I ended up with ten after I threw people out. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, hey, Finnis, do I have do I have enough hair gel in for you for this? Wow, oh, you're looking I, good. You're looking good, I, buddy. I thought that was Gonzalez <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I had two self-select and a couple that I just said this is a little bit above your, your head. So, 
you guys need to go back and do some other shit. Hmm. What are you doing, stupid cat? Like hanging out. Steve, you have a cat? I got two cats. They're both killers. Fisher's a cat person. That's uh, uncommonly known information. No, that's. I like my animals. Any dogs? Like, uh, I had a dog my last Roddy up until uh, last June ish, July, when I had to put him down. Actually, he uh, was kind of one of those things. I let him out, and he did a big perimeter sweep of the property, came back and laid down, and that was about it. About 4.30 in the morning. Is he, let's see, I had him seven years, eight years. So, yeah, he was 12 and a half, 13. Right now, so I can get more time, less work. No time for new dog. Unless I find one at a rescue somewhere that's really awesome. And then I'll do it. You know, this land. really... Oh, go ahead. No, you're good. Oh, uh, this really puts a new de definition to what you said earlier in our chat about you being alone. So now you're alone with cats. So <laughs> It's because I'm smart. Yeah. Jalapeno pizza. He's the resident crazy mm. cat lady. That's it. Steve Fisher rocking the 1-800 operator tactical phone <laughs> sex line look. <laughs> So I think we need to start taking collections to get uh, Haggard a mic. <laughs> Why? He's just going to talk about wheel guns. That's true. Well, then you have someone to talk to. Don't start your shit with me. I'll pull out a shotgun. <laughs> That's right, in the shotgun, yeah. Oh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> we haven't been decay? on here what? ten minutes, and it's already gone to gauges. Fuck my life. <laughs> I'm trying to go put my AUG out of the safe. <laughs> yeah, you, you and fucking Hans Gruber's fucking right-hand man. The, the only two people in the universe he fucking using AUGs. I wonder if what that guy's name was. Hmm. Wasn't it Carl? No, Carl. it was Carl's brother. Yep, Carl. Yep, Carl. Yeah, he was one really big, pissed-off, Viking-looking dude. And isn't he a ballet dancer? Yes, he is. Go tell Carl his brother's dead. <laughs> Cat, you're all <laughs> from my party. <laughs> Steve, someone truly wants to know what you're wearing right now. A pair of comfy fuzzy jammies and a Cabela's polar fleece hunting vest and a cat. Meow. All right, get out of here. Go. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Animal abuse. Hey, it looks like you got an AAR. Oh. Wow. Is that From Lepster? October. I know, right? I'm only waiting on Lee's and, you know, everybody else's and... Ah, whatever. The best AAR. I did not shoot myself or anybody else in class, and I learned a lot. I still suck. You know, with the, uh, the amount of chat that's going on in Hall of Justice, I'm surprised no one's jumped in here. Mm -hmm. Get over there. Tell them bitches come and do something. Yeah. Well, I know Shockey's sick, so hopefully he's not going to give us a virus or something. Shockey is always sick. He's such a crybaby. I get the flu. I don't feel good. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, Chris read that. He might be jumping in. That'd be nice. Who? Chris McRae with uh, Robar. Yeah, with Chris. Good dude. Oh, I still need to mess. I think I'm going to message him right now. He said something about messaging him. I am messaging you now. Mm. I'm spelling it wrong in the Steve Fisher fashion. Mm -hmm. Sorry. All right, what if I bring a scout rifle instead of a shotgun or an AUG? Is that better? Roland. Roland? Roland? Yeah. Uh, 
I got I got nothing, Steve. Uh, it's a three oh eight at least. Only if I can bring a lever gun. Absolutely. I want a forty five seventy lever. No. You should Google what's the new ones out from? Is it like Oregon Customs or somebody? They have one in five hundred Smith. 460 and 454. But 4570. 4570 is awesome, but man, a 500 Smith shooting 500 grainers or a 460 running 275 grainers, dude, at 2,000 plus feet per second. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to stomp some white tail guts with that. As someone who lives in the mountains, the 4570 just, just seems right. No, it does. Another one forty five seventy. Of course I have to lob it. Kind of. I need to get a circle holster for it. Yes. Mm. Have it per some semi permanently attached. That'd be ideal. Because it's gonna get stuck. Mm-hmm. Yes. A Pretty single cool. point with a belt mounted weapons retention catch. Ooh. You make millions. Ooh. Millions. Ooh. Man. Oh, I found some of Roland's most favorite ammo today in an ammo can. He will appreciate this shit. We will find that stuff. <laughs> See, Matt, this is what we have to deal with. Oh, I love it. I'm just, I'm just curious what he's actually going to bring back. Oh, let's. Ah. You got to say something there, Steve. Here, I'll just do this. Nine millimeter nightclad. Oh Jesus! I got some thirty eights of that shit laying around upstairs. Dude, eighteen forty five a box of armor penetrating vest shit from the movie Cobra. <laughs> nice. <laughs> or whatever. That is so amazing. I know. One hundred and twenty five grain yet. I still want to go shoot this stuff, and it's only missing four rounds. <laughs> Yeah, that that's that's four unsolved homicides. <laughs> it probably is, dude. <laughs> out of a out of a nine millimeter Smith and Wesson revolver with full moon. <laughs> There's no brass. That's right, no brass. That's fat. <laughs> See now, Wix is asking, "What is Steve wearing?" I, I, Steve, I'm thinking this needs to be a normal thing for you. This could be your signature look. Tell Wix I'm wearing his mom's house coat. Doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him she'll be home in the morning to make him breakfast. He looks uh, like a mountain man gigolo. Whores. All of you. You're all whores. He's so dirty. However, Phil does say that you'll have his AAR early this week. He's so full of it. Tell him I'll get that AAR when he hits a 25-yard B8. <laughs> I just don't want fish to go outside lest we get some fucking hokey-ass Sasquatch fucking photos from, you know, goddamn Yeti hunters. Walk into the 7-Eleven? No oh, wait, shit. no, that's, that's 30 miles away. What am I saying? Tom knows that 7-Eleven. There's some strange shit in that place. Dude. No. I know. But I get free coffee, so it works. Exactly. Who's like the creepy dude who used to work midnight there who looked like the really yeah. bad punk rock dude? The really oh, he's still, he's still there. Earrings. He's still there. Oh, my God, man. Yeah. Yeah, that dude worries me. So Wix responded... He said, um, Steve, make sure you send Mom home with a Steve Fisher Midwest rifle. <laughs> hey, we'll get one from you if you want one. Nice. <laughs> God. Take her out for a nice chicken dinner and never call her again. <laughs> <laughs> Waffle House. <laughs> Dorothy Mantooth is a saint. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You just stand there? Even the guy who can't think says something. 
Oh my god. Yep, at least when I know we get to hell, we're going to have a good time. And that answers the question about Steve's vest. You get it at the toilet store. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Haters. This shit's warm. Oh, God. <laughs> Tarek wishes they could only make shit that lasts and looks as good as this. Uh, I've had this thing for like 10 years. And you've washed it how many times? Four times Four or five, maybe. Okay. It gets worn during hunting season, gets thrown back in the bag, gets pulled out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the guys looked at me funny today at class when I was shooting with a pro mask on. <laughs> during lunch break, they came back in. I had my pro mask in that Avon, in an old ass ancient M40 mask. I'm like, okay, this thing really sucks. No, this one's not so bad. This one is horrible with a red dot. This one works really good. Oh, that was a fun time. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm actually gonna carry these night clads. <laughs> They're probably like 750 feet per second. <laughs> and they're not going to hit a thing. And they were made in Rock Creek, Ohio. That's where the Smith & Wesson Ammunition Company was. That's kind of interesting. I think. The new FBI load. <laughs> Give it a couple months. <laughs> They'll be back to shooting nightclad. God. Mm. Oh, God. Which glasses you want me to bend at? Whatever are uh, ballistic. I let me go dig up and set it up a bag. Yeah, I ordered the. I don't even remember what which ones I ordered. Oh, Gentex or something like that. Yeah. Nope, we already lost a... <laughs> it's so bad we lost a panel member. Right. Uh-oh. Yep. Kel is... has. You know what? Let's see if Kel wants to join us. <laughs> He's an avid listener. First-time caller. <laughs> At the very least, he could uh, jump on mobile if he were so inclined. Have any of you guys, other than Steve, heard uh, the radio station 89X out of Detroit? When they have uh, first time callers in, they have to proclaim either balls, penis, or vagina when they uh, answer the phone. I think uh, I think your hangouts here should take that in for uh, first time callers from now on. That would make for some interesting posts. Let me see if I can find a sound clip. Yeah, Kel just responded. I just stepped off a plane and boom, we ended abruptly with Dorothy Mantooth as a saint. <laughs> <laughs> Backup bottle. Got to reload. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That'll work. It's Sunday in the Bible Belt. State-controlled fucking liquor stores closed. <laughs> That's a shame. Mm-hmm. What happens if you don't have enough on hand? Utah doesn't have this issue. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. I think my dog's having a seizure over here. <laughs> I doubt that. Better not be. Bill said he'll be jumping in in a little bit. Right now he's watching Avengers. Oh, Jesus, really? Yeah. Hey, it's a good movie. Though I think, based on previous conversations, Anchorman would be a better movie to watch prior to joining us. Mm, I'm good with that. 
Steve, what the hell is this video you, you shared an hour ago? <laughs> what is it? Dental work. Oh, yeah. Why? He has a tooth fetish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does it look painful? And think about it. How many times have you ever thought about pulling out somebody's teeth and drilling screws into their mouth? It's like the shit that Sherman posts on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I blew a dude's chiclets out once, man, and it was it was that was pretty rough. Like, Doc, Doc had his hands full with that one. I found dentures in a steering wheel last week. That was pretty sweet. Oh, I believe it. You didn't get one. I can just imagine what that party was like. <laughs> we had a... So this was back, like mid-90s. Like a 15 mile an hour double fatality based on two elderly women, sisters, driving in the car. And one veered off, cracked into a telephone pole, set off both airbags, and we took an old woman pose and... <laughs> Blew their shit and killed them both. Airborne had that. Hi, Cal. Hey, Cal. Balls. <laughs> Balls. What's up, dude? How's it going? Mm -hmm. How's it How the hunting? I'm on my way back from the uh, annual pig hunt in San Antonio where the industry gets together and gets silly and slaughters pigs wholesale. Had a lot of fun. <laughs> And uh, Mr. Matt, I'm in your home state. I'm hanging out in the Salt Lake Airport waiting for my next flight. Ah. So if you sense my presence, that was it. There's a great disturbance in the force. That, that was the after effects of lunch. Oh, no, and I had Taco <laughs> Bell, so. Mmm, the Benza. Works hey, out. Did, I see, did I see Mr. Roland on this uh, mod chat? Cause Every day. His presence was sorely missed at the hunt. His name was taken in vain a couple times. <sighs> Dude, I so, so, so wanted to be there, too. So last night, like within five hours ago, Knipe and I are on the back of a truck shooting every bunny within sight because we didn't see any pigs. So, you know, bunnies fell, an entire family of javelinas on our way to get some, uh, some hogs. We finally found a bunch. The uh, the Zev guys and uh, the dudes from Fleer were there, so it was kind of nice that we had some some good hardware to look up the pigs. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I saw I saw that Austin shot up shot a bird with the 300 blackout. That uh, that is a technique. Somewhere, somewhere I have a picture of a eagle claw, and I shouldn't say an eagle. It was a Mexican eagle, a uh, capybara or something, or whatever they call them. Uh, somebody shot the foot off one, which was probably brutal and shouldn't be discussed on air, but there you have it. Uh, pictures, of course. How were the, uh, how were the costumes? I said gay. That wouldn't go over well. I don't know. It's you not my thing. I, I saw that some put some significant effort into uh, yes, uh, which is always amazing. Personally, see. the kids from Trigicon. I mean, if you saw Johnny Moore and Jake there, and they're you know they're already four foot high, so dressed as Ewoks doing the the Humpty dance, strange, but a a for effort. They were switched on. Which guys was it? Uh, Johnny Moore and Jake Labrizzi from Trigicon. Jake Labrizzi. Yes. There's some photos out there, I'm sure. If you swing through either of their Facebook feed, they'll be loud and proud in their little Furby suits. Really nice. Mars or MROs? Repitan, por favor. Mm -hmm. What optics were they shooting? Great question. Now, there were a lot of MROs, oddly enough. Um, didn't see a lot of EOTechs. But uh, you know, the FLIR guys are always great about 
handing out some samples for people to try. So I was shooting uh, some kind of 640 res, one of the RS FLIRs. And uh, daytime, I just had the MRO on a 12-inch Hodge gun. Nice. And land fair. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Hold on, let me put the camera specifically on you. Yep. Rudy Zion. I think these are the same ones Roland's got. Okay. Got a set or two of these laying around. I don't the think they're supposed to make that clicky noise. No, the worst yeah. thing that happens, dude, is that lens slips out of the channel. Yeah. When they reach a point, and you're like, okay, that was cool, big deal. And then throw them back in the glass. Yeah. And that's it. And pretty much the lenses are pretty much indestructible. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah, I finally got my first blim, uh, and I don't even know how I did it. I noticed it uh, the other day. Um, it's small, tiny scratch, but I mean, my glasses are 14 months old now, I believe. Um, and and like that—that's the first anything that uh, that I've been able to do these lenses. And it's not even an eighth of an inch. It's just this tiny. Tiny, tiny little, you know, blim that I can't, I can't buff out. But uh, I don't think I've ever had a set of Oakley lenses last me a year. About right. These are like the first pair I got about, I don't know, year and a half ago or so, and they just been, yeah, these have been passed around at classes. Let dudes wear them and use them and stuff and things and. I, I believe we're in the bathroom with Kel right now. What's that say, Ether? Finland? Fentanyl? He is sitting on the toilet. Um, that would be airport vodka. Mm. Somebody gave me some because I'm going to be making some Fentanyl vodka, not because I'm a drinker. Excellent. So, Cal, did the uh, did the Mormons make you show your papers when you got there? Housewives, um, bitter. That didn't happen. But I've got TSA free check. So, you know, they didn't go looking for my special underwear. <laughs> it's magic. It is magic underwear. But as you take the tour through my Arcteric Blade 21 bag, my carry-on here, just for uh, for show and tell. Very nice. I came home. What's a good hunt without stealing some sheds while you're there? Mm. If that's TSA-approved carry-on, that might be pretty good for some uh, some self-defense slash retake the aircraft. I could stab somebody in the fucking neck with that. Dude, when I was going through TSA, I was a little concerned that they might be, you know, thinking this was some kind of ramming weapon, which it is. But uh, okay, nobody tried to take them away from me, so life is good. Nice. Of course, and this is kind of because we do like loadout dumps and that kind of stuff. And since I'm really just looking for something in my bag while we're talking, so we always have PBS 14s when you get on a commercial flight. You never know. You know, and on that note, we can kind of bring, make it topical because Roland knows all that. Roland, what do you think about these filters for PBS 14s and the like? I've got one of the Orion ones, and somewhere I've got a Wilcox one. You know, the orange filters? Yeah. Um, the. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a real big fan. Uh, I think they do give you some benefit in terms of not uh, disrupting your natural night vision. Uh, I'm a big fan of the rubber gasket, though. I will put the rubber gasket on and and pop the the opaque lens out uh, to protect eye pro from getting scratched up, and it's uh, much more low pro and convenient than using the uh, the spongy. Eye cup protect the green from bleeding out. PVS 14 things that everybody just rolls back anyway. Um, right. that, that's a much better form factor uh, for for this, what is essentially the same thing, which is just protecting your your clear eye pro from getting scratched. Um, when you start getting down into real low levels, uh, where you're having to crank the gain up on the old PVS 14, uh, that opaque lens is going to affect your ability to to see what's going on downrange. If you're talking uh, probably below 
30 percent uh, ambient illumination with no active IR um, uh, assistance, you're gonna you're gonna want to take that orange lens off anyway, just to be able to see better because your 14s are operating kind of at the edge of their of their capability. 